when it comes to street ball video games, we've had a lot of them. And we all know the likes of NBA Street and NBA Ballers, but we're not talking about those. I'm talking about a redheaded stepchild, a game that many of you, if not all of you, have never even heard of. Exciting Basketball on PS2. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, it's actually called the Basketball Exciting. We're already off to a great start when the title of the game sounds like it was run through six different languages in Google Translate. Also, removing the E in Exciting looks really cool, right? Nope. We'll give it a chance. After all, the PS2's library of games is so vast, maybe we'll find a hidden gem here. Oh my god. The cold, lifeless look in every player's face makes this the first ever horror sports game. Like, it's unsettling. It's like these dudes witnessed their whole family killed before their eyes, or it's like they're not even human at all. As a matter of fact, I don't think they are. They swing in and get rotated through like they're mannequins or something. The team names are just letters devoid of any kind of personality or humanity, and they can't even express facial emotion even when they win or are celebrating. That could only mean that these guys are robots and they have been built and programmed to do nothing in life but to play basketball. And boy, do they suck ass at it. Listen, I know I can be prone to hyperbolic statements, but I am not exaggerating when I say that this is the absolute worst home console physical basketball game I have ever played. I mean, just look at it. It's a three on three street ball game and there's nothing really street about it. You have these awkward passes and you can spin, I guess. That's about it. The animations for this game are horrible and not in a way where it's just badly animated. It's in a way where every player looks like they suffer from arthritis. From the dribbling to the shots. Oh my God, the, the shots. How could a human being end up with a jump shot that looks like this? How do you even get to the point where this is what your animation of a jump shot looks like? I have no clue. The gameplay itself is pretty bad. When you first start playing, it's just guys chucking up air balls and shooting from behind the backboard for some reason. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? After you get a little used to how the game is, it's just super easy and exploitable. You could just Steph Curry it from half court with little to no difficulty. The AI is so bad, they never even attempt to stop you. You could just pull up for threes uncontested and everything. It's actually easier to make a three pointer than it is getting an open layup because more often than not, your layup goes too far and you drive past the basket. The AI on defense is a joke. Like is this triangle defense? I mean that literally speaking because they form a triangle. On offense, the AI is terrible. Their shots hit more air than a skydiver. Like bro, I'm gonna give you a free lane to the basket. Okay, I'll give you another free lane to the basket. Okay, I'll give you another free lane to the basket. Okay, I'll give you another one. You can loop this forever if you want. I'm not playing on baby difficulty either or anything. There is no difficulty select. You can dunk, but I don't know how to trigger it. And when it does trigger, it's just like, eh. And sometimes it doesn't even count. Uh, what else? You could do this, whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> By the way, the back of the box says this is ghetto street ball. Just a fun fact. The game is so bland and boring in general. There are only three courts, there are no stats in these games, and you can't even switch between players on your own team. Not that that matters in any way, because everyone plays the exact same. 
I know they had these little different ratings, but I noticed none of it except for speed. Considering all the players move in this game like everything is in perpetual bullet time, that doesn't really matter. So is there one thing that this game does well? Well, yes, the music. This made the game just a tiny bit more bearable. The main mode in this game is arcade mode. The arcade mode tasks you to beat every team in the game, which isn't really a lot. It's about seven teams or something. To make things go even faster, I took the timer off and made it so the first team to score 11 points wins. Or, to simplify it even more, when I hit three uncontested half-court shots and a two-pointer, I win. Now, the more and more you play, the more and more you notice things like this. Your team win every time you win. Or this billboard. Good task, good time. Let's drink delicious coffee, no space in between the words, and spend comfortable time. It doesn't make any sense. Man, I, I don't know what happened here. After I play on and on and beat everyone until a new challenger approaches. Now take a wild guess. Who could it be? You are right if you guessed. Royalty free Chicago Bulls boy. Yeah, I can't even believe it. I thought it was just gonna be some supernatural team or something, but here we are the 90s Chicago Bulls, and they look just as surprised as I am that they are in this game. So if these guys are the last boss, then they must be the toughest challenge yet. So I have to bring my A game in order to beat these guys. Hey Jordan, here's a free lane to the basket. <laughs> yeah, they suck too. The only thing I can notice is different is that they are faster. After we beat them, we are told game clear and we get the credits. After that's over, there's nothing else. The arcade lasts about 30 minutes. Granted, I changed the settings for the games to go by quicker, but nah. The only other person in the world who has a playthrough of this online is this guy who took him about an hour. So we'll split the difference and say 45 minutes. And even when you beat the game, you can't even play as the Bulls, or King as they're referred to. As far as I know, you don't even get an unlockable. So after playing the game, I naturally have some questions. And the main one being, what the hell is this and who made it and why? Well, that's three questions, but whatever. If the poorly worded title of the game and the overall bad English in general didn't give it away, this is a foreign game, Japanese to be specific. This game is part of the exciting sports series, which contains four games, basketball exciting, billiards exciting, volleyball exciting, and bowling exciting. None of these seem to be as bad as basketball exciting, and none of them are really all that, well, exciting. And the other games don't have these weird 1 million yard stares. Well, the bowling one does have one static expression, but at least it's not, you know. But the exciting series is inside of another series called 2000 Simple Series. Didn't know we were going all Inception here. These games were all published by Japanese publisher D3 Publisher. The purpose of this series is to create simple budgeted games. The number 2000 represents how much yen the game is supposed to cost. So about 13, 14 US dollars. Funny enough, rarely any of these games came over to America, mostly Europe. This series is just full of everything. And I mean, everything you could possibly think of. Any content creators or aspiring content creators have untapped a video potential here. You have games that spawn some pretty popular series like Earth Defense Force. You have obscure games like Basketball Exciting. And you have games where you can control a ship and shoot giant women in bikinis in their vaginas to defeat them, you know, like regular games. What the fuck is this? Girl working out, Kingdom Hearts clone, horror, toy helicopter. What are you blasting on those windows? Ew! Ew! You nasty ass bastard! 
half naked girls, half naked girls, half naked girls, half naked girls fighting, roller coasters, and baby competitions? Like, what? what is this? The Soul 2000 series has the great honor of having one of their games be the very worst rated game on Metacritic as a whole. There's a good amount of sports games on this list, so maybe if the moon and the stars and the planets all align, I'll visit that someday. Bringing things back to basketball exciting, it's one of the worst games I've ever played. Even with the added context of this being a cheapo $14 game, Every other game in this series doesn't look like a disaster, at least in terms of the gameplay. Like I can play these games in a I'm bored and I need to kill some time sort of way. This game isn't even good for Cartoon Network Flash game standards. Basketball Exciting would live in relative obscurity for years until NBA 2K social media discovered it and turned it into a mini meme, I guess. I found comments about it, but I didn't find any actual videos about it, so yeah. As someone who has played this for about a grand total of 36 minutes, I could say that a third of it is dedicated to a loop of me leaving the lane open.